potato. Pingus. Pingus. Anyway. Oh my. <laughs> the naked gnome. Hello, my fellow mercs, and welcome to another day of adventures. From where we last left off, the heroes had just made it to the new city, uh, to a city, the city of Alanya, where they made a few more discoveries, new faces to, to meet, although not too many, as there's still plenty of the places to explore, but they at least are now established with the guild, as well as with the magics as well. Uh, during their exploration, they were able to discover a book that seems to hold great tales, or at least misfortunes, of the town that they had first came into contact with, as well as a book of myths and legends that seems to portray the party for the most part, but they, are, they aren't entirely sure since it could be anyone. Which leads us to where we are now. You, you all rise as a new day has formed. Uh, I need some coffee. I'd rather a good cup of tea. Tea sounds. Yeah, he can have whatever you want. Done. Uh, everyone will go inside to the inn. Howdy, how y'all? What am I get? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I need tea. coffee and a breakfast. Tea, coffee. All right. Now, is there actually coffee I can actually grab? I might still have a mug in my inventory. There's a actually. cup of tea here. Is that? And is that cup of tea pick up -able? Yep. Alright. My house is being very uh, rebellious, it seems. Well then. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. So, uh, what exactly are we going to do today? I'm a bit groggy at the moment. I believe we should train to become stronger. Maybe take jobs at the Adventurers Guild. I not like a bad idea. I'm all for it. This place seems pretty nice to kind of set up shop for a little while. Hmm. Oh, yeah. uh, actually, now I realize it. The images haven't uploaded properly. You might have to refresh because this thing seems loaded. I see everything you're popping up. Yeah, it's just the images went loading in my inventory. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, that was that was happening for me too. Morning three. Morning. Oh hello. Morning Max. So I suppose we all decided what's going on already. Come on, I heard. 
Well, kind of. We at least have an initial plan, but uh, there's more detail to be worked out. Hmm. Well, if any case, one thing we'll probably need to do is figure out how to get... To We'll need to get more information as well as stocking up on supplies that could benefit us. Oh, yep, so we need to make some coin and do some odd jobs. Didn't you guys get a lot of coin before from, uh, you know, the cultist cave? Well, I mean, how much are we needing for supplies? Well, it depends on the supplies, but most stuff should cost a few copper. Kinda just depends on how high quality. Well, at least we don't want cheap. We definitely want decent to good quality. I'm back. We'll probably need to stock up on, on elixirs, potions. Possibly more, more variety of arrows for our archer. That sounds like a good idea. And at least be more beneficial that way in case we come across something that's more problematic. Well, especially since I don't know if I know flash. Plus, since it's, since you guys are kind of new to the world again, you'll more likely need to get refreshers on how well how well of combat you can hold, especially against a real fight. Granted, you guys have been able to hold your your own for quite a bit now. <coughs> Well, admittedly, I, I agree. Um, I think if we went up against the uh, more powerful foe, uh, we would uh, probably would be, be armed. Yeah. Uh, so, spills and equipment definitely must. Yeah, I don't see you guys fighting an orc anytime soon. Or an ogre. I mean, the big guy least. might. Yeah, the big guy might disagree with you on that, but uh, he might be only one. I don't know, we've mostly been going against uh, wild animals, so... Yeah. yeah, not much in terms of a worthy opponent, but... Again, we are not exactly the best equipped for fighting someone of that skill. Um, so, either way, it all seems to point to um, hit the Adventurer's Guild up to get some practice some coin. I'm just more glad Kendrick, we haven't ran into much, any variants. How much coin do we have left? Um, how much coin? Let's see. Yes, that's why I asked Hendrix, who has the coin. Uh, I'm looking it up because I know we did combine everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, cause you, I know you put, you put the, uh, the money holding into my hair. Right, yeah, I passed it off to you, cause... Yeah. But, yeah, cause I, in my inventory, I have 128 copper. Uh, the, to the total group fund is 90 silver and 296 copper. That is the total group fund, currently. It's not bad. So, yeah, we well, totally at least enough have, to uh, get some decent equipment. We have a nice nest day going to, to get this equipment, but... Again... You know, more potions, spells, and... We do need to get stronger, that's for sure. Yeah, at the very least, at least we haven't come across any variant creatures. So that's always a plus. Uh, were they... Um... I guess... prevalent around the areas we were? Not prevalent, but they can still be spotted. Not too commonly, but... 
if you do come across one, it's best you hope that you have experience. Since most well, good thing we haven't. <clears throat> you're right, then. Good thing we haven't turned into one yet. As what these variants are, they're typically creatures that have been combined with elemental properties. Creatures born with magic properties. So, wait, like, they're born of magic or they're born with magic? You can kind of say it's a combination of the bow. Be with them being imbued with magic, they have altered their forms to have more either more ferocious tendencies or having a, more advantages within certain situations. One such, one such thing is the flame wall. Although they're not too, they're not too difficult from a normal wolf, they do have the fire property which, if you're not careful, could burn your weapons right out of your hand. That sounds quite painful. Yeah. Be glad you're not in armor. Or a full plate. <coughs> yeah, I, I could see that turning into a miniature oven. Yes, now which I feel kind of bad if we do come across one for one particular person. I have heave resistance, so I don't know why you're concerned about me. Not you. The one tin can. I believe he's sick of Jack. <clears throat> Where is the tin can, anyway? He was out cold on the bed as we left. Mm, I think he's still sleeping in. Yeah. But that's only one of variants, as there can be numerous amounts. Some canceling out their own weaknesses as well. As for how many variants of one creature there is, that's kind of just up to luck. But if we do, but if we do ever come across one and succeed, at least they have a high price. At least we join. A minute. Oh. Oh. Was that the tin can? Was it? Yes. That was out of character. He was letting us I know, know I... he's coming in. Well, no, I was like, wait, what? I, I heard it. I heard him. I, I heard his voice. I just stayed yeah. in character. I, I didn't hear him join me. I had to strike him out on. Yeah, he popped in to say he'll be here. And then popped out again. So yeah, I'm betting family. Yeah. With variants, although slightly more difficult than normal, they do tend to have a higher price value. Well, I suppose, you know, the more coin the better. I mean, better quality equipment. Hi higher risk, higher reward, as they say. I don't know, I'm not looking too forward to, like, my bow catching fire, though. Yeah, I can't imagine that it would go well. It... Be fun to watch. I kind of second that. Sticks her tongue out, Adam. <laughs> but training would definitely be a good course of action for you. As well as trying to learn any new spells that you can, if you're able to cast. Well, it seems like the plan for the day is to I... go work on that and go work on ourselves. Get everything ready, so... I suppose no rush, I'd yeah? Probably could probably try to see if I can learn some uh, stronger healing now. I do have the ability, apparently, so see if we can beef that up a little bit. That'd be helpful. Alright, then you're on a hunt for white tomes, then. 
White doors? Uh, kind of a... How do I put it? It's a way for most mages to channel their magic, is with the tomes it's, and such. It's a book that channels white magic. Yeah, there are, there are one for each element, as well as whichever proficiency you have. Healing's inherent. No, oh, so magic. was that like the the books we found in that library the one time? Most likely. In any case, uh, well, I guess if you want to build up strength, then we would probably want to go to where this militia person is. That, that wandering merchant, he said there was a captain here, right? Indeed. Maybe he's willing to lend a hand, hand then. No harm in asking. Well, then, if you've had your fair share of food and and ale, then I'll be heading out. Morning, Jack. Who has ale at like mm. seven in the morning? <clears throat> it seems. Well, the guy passed out in the corner, probably. Uh, I think he may have just had too much. Whoops. Hey, thank you for the coffee. I, I tried to place on the table, but uh, there's no room apparently, so sorry. I'll handle that. You dropped the bar. Good, good choice of the music, by the way. Ah. Twice. Uh, can you guys hear me properly? Uh, I do yeah. not remember Weird. how to draw quiet. stuff. Yeah, I, I, hey, well, hold on. Let me my mic. Yeah. What now? Uh, you're still kind of the same volume. You good? You good? Quieter wow. now. Also, you're probably faster going through the, the portal room. Oh, right, because the door leads to Kai. Yeah. We're not in Kai. Hey, Mim, did you hear the announcements? You, you can click, no. you can click the, the, the pot. Yeah. For Tears of the Kingdom? Save that for after. It's hey. D&D time, boy. But she's out this sort of like D and D. Too bad, D and D. Well, I think you landed in the wrong place. Well, yeah, I said go to the portal room. To the wrong door. Damn. Welcome, Dave. Yeah. Why is it not letting me through? Uh, which way to the portal room again? In the tavern, potted plant. Uh, did you, have you clicked on the, <coughs> the candle? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there oh, you go. I was clicking on the little marker. Sorry. Well, what's the blacksmith? I'll check on him after. Wrong blacksmith, though. I know, he is, he... And don't wander off just yet. To the potted plant, the other one, by the door. Wow, to, you to did the a room. really good job. This is awesome. Beware the invisible this, wolves. This, this one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the invisible wolves. 
<laughs> it's fun. There's invisible walls. And make yeah, sure you click walls. on the candle, <laughs> not the not the arrow. Yeah. Well, not the candle, the the rose. I mean. Beer bottle. Uh. English, you fuck. Click on the rose. Damn. I, I am now her. on the roof. Oh, check me off the roof. <laughs> why? Why you not know, let me be on the roof? Because you're not Spider-Man. I could Batman. be. No! No, you cannot! I don't have any parents as far as I'm aware. I'm an orphan. We don't know if we've got parents. I'm Batman. Fear me. We'd be closer to a killer croc. And actually, if we did have parents, chances are they're probably dead by now. Now then. Oh my god, they're Yoda. Now then. We don't as... know how many centuries ago we died. I one, genius. Uh, as you exit out of the tavern... The streets are def are more quieter as er the city is still trying to wake up itself. <clears throat> to your knowledge, my band said that the military district was to the top left. I'm watching uh, you guys on the wrong street. <laughs> top, wrong way. top left. <laughs> I've been waiting for you guys to catch up. And to enter the area, click on the shield and sword. Did Nem get lost again? No, Nem's with me. Nem Actually, went the right you way. Got lost. You got lost. Not me. That, oh, not that me. works. I did not squirrel. Huh? Here. As you enter. You hear the sound of clashing swords, as well as the heaving of, of man, more or less out of breath. And you see only, and you see one man standing above them all, watching them. Why did they say that? The background music uh, is actually pretty good. <laughs> what was that now? Hmm. The background music is actually pretty good. Thank you, I didn't choose it. <laughs> um, good sir. evening, Sir Louis. Well, good morning. Ah, got some newcomers. And you are wondering if we could participate in some training. Sure. And Sir Louis, by the way. Pick up a sword, pick up whatever weapon you want. Are we allowed to use our own? You may. Though it's probably better off to use a wooden weapon. At least if you're oh, a beginner. Do you have a wooden hammer? Uh, we might have that in stock. Is there like a magic school in this? We were there the other day. We can take you there after. Uh, so, because there's not actual wooden weaponry yet, uh, just pretend that your weapons are wooden. My uh, weapons cool. always wood. I don't do melee, though. Could you train with your bow. That's what I was thinking, is there like a range somewhere around here? Em? Yes? Never change. This is turning against oh. other people now. Oh, I don't want to shoot people. How shoot the fuck do you get better? A moving target, think... it's better to train against than a non moving target. Well, fair enough, but you know. Uh, Look, if I was in the public, you don't want to train people. The the pillars. thrown on the other end is not so easy. Use the pillars. Look, they've got arrows in them if you're too afraid of hurting somebody. Definitely a music bunch. 
I'm ready to start whenever. Well then. First off, as he jumps on down. Are you Are you newcomers or adventurers? Yes, adventurers. Both. Adventurers. Yes, and yes. <laughs> Don't trust the elf. She has shot our friend Jack here in the back many times. It still hurts. Even though this You left Oops. in front of my shot, dude. That's not He my wasn't fault. moving. <laughs> so they all are newbies then. Alright. Hey, we managed to survive. Let's just put it that way. Well, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Well, I feel comfortable with a hammer. I'm more comfortable with a two-handed great mess. Alright, then Dentless. Dentless. Then, what is your preferred style? And I prefer wielding my weapon with one hand and a shield. Alright. And the rest of you? I'm an elf carrying a bow, what do you think? I mean, I've seen plenty that of elves is... use scimitars. That elf is... ...projugating the stereotype. She's oh yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the cliché. And I'm small tiefling, so, uh... ...finesse weapon works best for me. Alright. Done. If you need, if you need a hand in combat, wise, take up arms with one of my, take up arms with one of my subordinates. And as for your elf friend here, you're used to range, so then use me as a target. Okay. Watch. Those that wish to initiate their own combat, go ahead and meet up with one of the one of the students. And as for you, stand over by that rock over there. Here. That works. Now then. Sparring commence. Watch, no need to roll initiatives here. Everyone go ahead and just perform. Uh, perform some rolls. Just a d20 you want? Yep, d d20, plus any sort of modifiers you may have. Uh, let me modify this, sorry. Uh, let me see what <clears throat> okay. Um, this will be plus That's that 20. Okay, so 22. 19. Alright. 7. <laughs> Alright. Then, all of you have been, are sparring with your, with your own partners. As as it seems that they're they're trying not to hold back on you since it's better to get real experience than none. All you seem to be holding your ground pretty eff effectively, some more than others. As Jack was able to disarm their opponent, making them cease. Well, not twenty, yeah. <sighs> now severe doesn't take. Uh, Mousefear and Hendrix, it doesn't take too long for the both of you two uh, to make your opponent yield. I think it broke my bow. Wait, no, it's not. As for <laughs> Alavara, it definitely seems like a moving target is a bit harder than a stationary. So, what do you think? Let me, can I try again? Uh, you may, as uh, Louis is dependable. Oh. 
The dice hate me. You're definitely doing better than you were before. You're at least... You're hitting him, but none are really sticking to his shield. I really need to warm up. Alright. Try one more time here. God damn. And with your frustration, you begin to start missing more. Yep. Yeah. One more time. There we go! And on the brink of giving up, you, you actually... Uh, almost hit him directly in the chest as he was able to block it with a shield. Alright. That's a lot more better now. And it seems like your friends there seem to be done with their sparring as well. Now then. How, how do you all fare in hand to hand? I don't know. I haven't really tried. Well, there's always going to be a time where your weapons won't be available to you. So you best to work with what you have. I guess that's a dagger for me. Even a dagger sometimes won't be so easily available. Okay, we can try. I'm gonna simply smile and go, that's the guest. I'm gonna take off my cloak and my armor and put them on the ground next to me. <clears throat> Wouldn't there also be times when you don't have time to put your own armor on when being ambushed? That is very absurd. That is very good perceptiveness, as you'll never know when an enemy could be right around a corner. I just put my, I just stabbed my sword into the ground. Now, considering that my students probably won't be able to do as well to hand to hand. Then how about, who wants to step up to me first? I am willing. Alright then. Then, go ahead and do your, fa your fair roll. 10 versus... In which... You go ahead and throw punches. Uh, actually, say how you how you would perform your actions. I would uh, punch normally, and every now and then I'd attempt to swing my tail in as well. All right. As you're doing such, you notice you notice Sir Louis of uh, somewhat punching your punching your moves away and. And sometimes almost getting caught by your by your tail. Nice impro improvisation right there. Well, I have one more natural weapon to me, but I will not use it in this situation since this is a spar. Well, for your race, yeah. You could definitely you could probably use a bit more momentum with your punches, but. So far, you're, you're doing pretty well, right? Alright. Who's next, then? Who's the next? Alright. Then, show me what you can do. Yours, yours are, uh, yours are definitely holding more, more heaviness than, than your your fellow comrade. As, say how you how you would act. Try giving some uppercuts and the head bottom. All right. 
seeing your seeing your movement as it, as its flow. Your he sees that your that your movements are definitely more more efficient as well as can be a bit more destructive and when your headbutt comes into play he simply he simply goes ahead and as your head goes towards him he elbows your uh, he elbows the side of your head moving your your headbutt into a different direction now that that was a definitely a nice add up Though, aiming your head towards your enemy isn't always the best move. That's why we're protection. Knocks on the helmet. Yeah, but sometimes Maybe. that helmet isn't always going to be on. I like to see someone try to take it off. <laughs> Louis, I'll give you five copper if you do it. I'm a bit more respect respectful than that. No, 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 he's right. Every man has a price. It's well, a lesson he'll need to learn. Well, we'll do I something in your food next time. I have my own honor. I, I wouldn't stoop to... I wouldn't stoop low to just remove some man's helmet. Especially if they don't want to reveal themselves. He's not that attractive underneath, trust me. But you know. Why are you looking at me when you say this? Else. <laughs> yeah. The hell is still ringing. I'm just gonna. I'm All just right. gonna sit, grab my sword, and sit down. Then, who's next? Mr. Tiefling or Miss L? Eh, yeah, I suppose it'll be me. Alright, you said you're... You look more nimble. So me what you can do. Alright. Do I have my, uh... Can I add my dex modifier for this? Uh, yes you can. Yes you can. Cool. As... You are definitely... Uh, you're at... You are definitely more nimble than the other two. Yours don't have too much of an oom, but you can probably get more than normally others can. And which, go ahead and say your actions. Uh, so he's just gonna kind of go in for a quick uh, jab, and as the they're kind of scrapping, he's gonna go in for a headbutt using his horns to to kind of want the the impact all right seeing as you're trying to go for quick jabs he is he does kind of struggle on your your quickness and as you try to go for your headbutt he uses he uses his own strength to to knock against your your horns Bouncing him off. Ooh, that I kind of felt. Definitely a. He just has a little bit of a smile on his face uh, after that. Definitely good use of your horns, though. I would definitely say be more careful with that, since your, since horns are typically show your worth. I think. I actually don't know Tieflings that well. Well, in a, in a fight hand-to-hand, -hand, you need to use any advantage you have, and horns are advantage. Believe me. Guess so. And then Miss Elf. You confident in your your hand-to-hand? -hand? Not particularly. <laughs> well, you don't know until you can, you try. Okay, she's going to ball up her fist, and she's going to throw a punch like the cleric she used to be. Okay. Let's go back. Oh wait, my God, she beat him. 
You succeeded, dude, the first one. <laughs> No, he slipped. That that's he slipped. He he's he was still a bit uh, winded from the headbutt from the tiefling. Uh, and which uh, she can actually, like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I feel like Nims want just more of a light caress. <clears throat> Hendrix just kind of crosses his arms. Yeah, I feel like I loosened him up a little bit. And again, <laughs> that cleric instinct's gonna kick in. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Feel that. Well, your punch didn't really hold much weight, but I mean, you did you did actually hit skin? So I'll I'll give you that. Inside, he's thinking, "Do you go back to the temple? Go back to the box." <laughs> it's just a light slap, dude. Now then, that's not. That's about more or less the basics. Uh, have any of you dis uh, thought about trying to swap up your weaponry role before? I I have thought about it. Yes. I wouldn't mind giving the gauntlet weapons a try. Gauntlet it... doesn't sound too bad of a choice. Admittedly, I'm, I'm comfortable with my weapon, but uh, I may go seek to learn some more spells. Ah, so a spell slinger then? Uh, I feel a little more comfortable in that role. Well, everyone needs to fill their own role their own way, so. And whichever makes you feel the most safest. Or courageous in some ways. Uh, I feel comfortable with the weapon I have now. It is good weapon. <clears throat> it has served me well. Until I find the better one, I, I think I'll stick with it. Might not be the best with the bow for her health, but yeah, it seems to be better than all the other stuff I tried. <laughs> I would suggest maybe try a crossbow. The draw isn't the issue. <laughs> Crossbow is far more accurate than the normal bow. Yeah, Good but point. the but the crossbow is more designed for somebody with more strength, where bow is more for somebody more dexterous. I think what just happened. I think them are Avera will be fine. She lightly caressed Sir Louis' face. That does not equal strength. He slept. He'll be fine. I mean, it didn't really even leave a bruise. This is why I generally stuff. stay in the back and start healing you guys. Perhaps you should learn throwing, <laughs> throwing knives. No, no, no. I'm... No. God, no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Sir, I thought... Perhaps disagree. even a bladed boomerang, so you have a ranged weapon that comes back or an infinite ammo. Well, so I was. tells me melee is not my deal. Well, actually, that kind of leads me to my next basic thing. Neck. Sometimes, when a weapon isn't good and you feel like your fists are too tired to punch, sometimes it is a lot better to improvise. And which he simply just goes ahead and grabs a glaive from off the ground and chucks it on over hitting a club. Sometimes an improvised weapon is good enough. So even if a weapon doesn't hold its purpose truly, simple toss is good enough. Hey, I get what you're saying. Uh, pick up uh, anything you find on ground and toss it to enemy. Does yeah. that include the age-old proverb of hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker? I mean, if you can carry them, sure. Let's start calling him Bane. Do you feel in charge? 
Like, they'll, they'll look at the, um, the, the mini game series one where it breaks yeah. the back of the thing. I will pull, perform a backbreaker if I have to. You seem to be volunteering. <laughs> Just expect you to buy a loot store mask at this point. Admittedly, it would look pretty funny. Nobody <clears throat> cared who I was until I put on the mask. Oh, not that one! Anyway, let's... What should we do now? Well, yeah. Typically speaking, you'll never know when you have to swap up your own role for any sort of situation. So, even if, let's say, this big guy here, you're a frontliner, I take it. I go where I'm needed. Out of yes, he is frontliner. He always go in front. Well, sometimes because the person who wants to do frontlining, his armor is more like paper mache and almost falling apart. He says as he eyes Jack. I'm working on it. Well, sometimes the frontliner might just have to be a support, since you're stronger. You'd probably have a, a farther throwing distance. I was. Perhaps going to look into this thing I found that I saw at the blacksmith. It is a giant great bow. A great bow. Those are, yeah, those are typically harder to use as it requires an immense amount of strength. But it does definitely do the job, especially if you need, I guess, in a sense, artillery. Do you perhaps want I one here I could perhaps practice with? Uh, we don't particularly have anything that fits the description of a great bow since, well, most of the guys that train here don't particularly have the strength for it. Then perhaps would you be able to help me increase my strength so perhaps when I find one I could perhaps draw it properly? I mean, it will definitely take time, but do enough of it, I'm sure you'd probably be able to wield one. Uh, we are going to be in town for a while, so if I, it takes just... many sessions, then it should be fine. I'm just going to pull out my uh, journal. I will even willing to take note on strength training regimen I can do when not here, and not on road. <laughs> are you trying to be a grade 8 student? This no, is... I just feel the <laughs> more notes he, I have in my book, the He is what you more... call overachiever. I'd like notes. Notes help people. The more notes I have, the more notes I can help people. Overachiever. Well, I don't particularly see. See, I even have this floating book that is magic library thingy. Well, I don't particularly see the need for notes since, since it's usually muscle memory when someone tries to swing or do something. But I guess it's still good for those that want to. <clears throat> and will you have fun with that. <clears throat> Though if you wish to train, I hope you know that it won't exactly be free as it does require time. How much coin would it cost? A session? Let's say roughly thirty to be thirty copper to begin with. I in fact have that much on me. That that is basically all the copper I have on me. <laughs> well, you don't have to spend it now, as I still have plenty of training to do with these guys. I'm willing to give it to you now, so that when I have free time later, and perhaps when you have free time later, we can get to it then. Sure. I will end up with 30 copper. I'll more likely be free around the afternoon then. So that's I when you can come around. Try and perhaps come back around then. If not today, another day. Good spirit then. And any of you? Um. It should be fine, but uh, if, if I feel the need to. Uh, Get the bulky, I guess. Uh, I will come to you. That's a spirit. 
Oh, and I guess I didn't really introduce myself. I'm Sarlu. You introduced uh, yourself when we arrived. Yes, oh, I right. do believe we did have introductions. Right. Sorry. Getting getting a good workout does tend to make me forget. But I don't think I've heard any of your names, though. I am Melsevia. Alabara. Hendrix. And that's the Tin Can. Tin Can's Jack. Well then, it's nice to officially be all you know. And I do hope that you'll come around a bit often. Even if it's just to help with some of these ones. Gotta train I'm up sure guards you'll somehow. See us around. I'm glad to come back again. It's rare to find somebody equal to my size. And I mean, who knows? May I'll, I'll even pay for your service on helping them train. <laughs> if you want proper life training against uh, one of my kind, I'll gladly give a hand. Well, more or less any adventure is, fun, is able to help train the, the ones that are to become guards. Event, adventuring training tends to be the best course of action. Indeed. Now, we thank you for your time. We should really take the uh, Elven one to the Magic Academy. Otherwise, we will never hear the end of it. Alright, then. Have fun learning your magics. Well, it's either that or a fortune and bandages. Which would you prefer? Now then. Rest you. Back to positions. Seemed nice. Yes, he did, actually. This way. Very nice beard. Invisible wall strikes again. Uh. An invisible wall? Why is there an invisible I, I Did I or did I not warn you of the invisible walls? There was an invisible wall. <laughs> there. Is Jack lost? Oh, I just popped out. Go to the right, yep. This is the Mage's Guild. We'll even test out your magical capability inside. I lost. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, I have no sense of direction. Bottom left. We notice. Thank you. Where uh, the tin can will catch up. Go, go down to the center and all the way down. Doesn't he like to go find the shops and see if they have new stock anyway? Despite the fact that not even three hours have passed, yes. Yeah, so it w it wouldn't surprise me if he's if he just detoured to go check on the shop stock and see if they have anything new. <sighs> Well, to be fair, he didn't get a chance the last time we were walking around the city. Welcome back, you two. And it seems you brought a new one. Yes, we've brought our friend here from Magical Aptitude Test, and she would like some magical training. Specifically in the art of white magic. White magic? Alright. Well then, miss, if you will, come over to this magic crystal then. Place your hand on it, and it will determine is, is it your attitude. Is just me or is he being nicer to her than he was to us? Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah... <clears throat> Alright, she does so? I think he might like her. Or maybe it's because he elf and she elf. Alright. You, yeah. you go ahead and put your hand onto the crystal. Species. And... Indeed. <laughs> And you get a, you get a light green. Light. All what right. does that mean? That means you have a higher aptitude of magic than a normal being would. Oh. Which, I mean. I guess I that makes see. sense. I mean, 
Welcome back, Jack, to the shops of new stock. I can already heal. <laughs> well, I think we gave I, him an idea. I don't idea. think he, uh... He, yes, he, I don't think he checked. She... <laughs> Kalavar just looks down the hall. And back to Oliver. Alright. So, with your aptitude now done, uh, let me go ahead and get your magic slate then. Oh, thank you. Huh? Um, and by the way, they didn't tell me your name. What's your name? Ah, my name is Kolovar. I am oh, the head Kolobar. mage here. Or at least one mm -hmm. of the five. Nice to meet you. I'm Oliver. Uh, here. Here's a magic slate. All you have to do is imbue your magic into it, and it will be assigned. Okay. Do I have to roll for that, or...? No. Or is it automatic? Okay. It's automatic. Well, there we go. Then with that, you are now a potential student to the, to the magic academy. Awesome. Is there a tuition fees, anything like that? No, nothing like that. As we tend to teach, well, since it is an since it is a school for potential mages as well as interconnected to the adventuring guild, we give we give lessons to whoever may need. Ah, awesome. thank you. Uh, we might as well take the chance and get a lesson to Hendrix. So, what is my affinity yeah, I wasn't anyway? On it, actually, you said that the. Ball says uh, what my affinity is. Ah, yes, your affinity. Almost forgot. Uh, let me go ahead and go into my notes so I can remember. Hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, I wish. So, to determine your aptitude. Go ahead and close your eyes, and I will start to imbue magic into you. Okay. She closes her eyes. And once you start to feel a surge of magic going through you, and you're able to... And which can I get a... Uh, yeah, a, a d20. Oh. D20? Yeah. We know what the dice hate me, though. Okay. Just do it. <clears throat> do it. See, I told you they hate me. You're, you're, you're getting assistance to roll again. <laughs> there you go. Much okay. Alright. You start to start to visualize uh, from the darkness. You're able to see you're able to see tremblings of the ground as if an earthquake is happening, as well as a burst of light that seems to spread out outwards from the from the earth itself. Okay. As a vision? As a visualization. Oh, okay. Oh hmm? uh I felt the earth move and then there was a Ray beam light that exploded out of it. So, you're an earth attribute as well as a light. Which isn't particularly bad, as the earth earth element can still be intertwined with the wind. And with you having the light attribute, that at least makes it easier for you to learn white magic, at least. It would make sense. And as for classes, uh, any any doors that holds the name of what you wish will be accessible to you. Awesome. And uh, the slate tells me when classes are held. Uh, any classes are held within the same. The same hour. It's just since uh, since mages are coming in and out most of the time. Oh, it just keeps track of what I. I'm back. Awesome. It's it's okay. more to symbolize that you are connected to the mage guild. 
Oh, okay. So that way, if someone questions you on if you're supposed to be in this class, you can at least represent on that function. Oh. Hmm. Thank you so much for... Yes, well, enjoy your time. Same with yeah. you, too. Art of light. In there. Um, perhaps we should also check what we have affinity towards, because we didn't do that last time we were here. Oh, do we not? Can you teleport me to the no. guild? I don't yeah, I... Jack is lost again. <laughs> no, I know where I am. Just too lazy to walk back there. Just, just, just walk. walk. It's not there. It's down at the... He I just... Don't... He's like the fat guy who's laying in the ground. It's just in the me. bottom left. <laughs> he's like three feet. He's from like three feet away. And just like I can't walk the rest of the way. Someone carry me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I was at the merchant skills. Oh yeah, you're at merchant skilled. Really? Do they have any new stock? I don't know. I just entered it. Oh dear. Fucking. I like when you get teleported and you get teleported to the apple painting. So, let me get this straight. We actually have a real girl in the group, and it's the guy in full plate armor that keeps getting caught out shopping. It's, it's the Zoro syndrome, man. He's just getting lost with directions. Now then. Uh, I'm trying with... to look for the blacksmith Zoro shop. the Gay Blade! Well, if you give me time, I could do that, but you know, I'm more focused on the actual group. Impatient bastard! No, you're, gonna have you're, you're the one impatient. You're the one <laughs> running off to go like, 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 oh, I need to go see their stock. I, I just they, said I was. You, you know what we need to do? We need to give him the Raven treatment. You got the duct tape? I'll duct hold tape him, up. him to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, do that I sell you shit. Go ahead, the two of you both close your eyes, and I'll imbue magic into you. Ah, uh, what they say? Hello, magic person. How are you? Hey, uh, hello, Tin Man. Just some <laughs> nickname. I can't be bothered to remember your name. Session one. You are what? a man. Man. <laughs> All right. It will gain my armor back. The both of you close your eyes and feel an urge, a surge of magic flow through you. Both of you uh, roll with advantage. Let's see. Uh... Hey, uh... Not 20. Okay. Nice. 15 for you. Okay. Also, just remember I had two of the same notes open. Uh, let's see. I have. Alright. So, with you, Hendrix, you start. You visualize. Uh, you start to visualize a great fire. Not only that, it seems like it is, it, you could say it's from the hells itself. As you can see, not only the fires, but also lava dripping down from, you can assume, stalagmites. He just takes in like a deep breath, just kind of feeling the heat surrounding him, <clears throat> and it's it's somewhat comfortable to him with his. Yes, uh, which for the two that are able to witness it, you actually start to see a f what you could almost see like a flow of f like a fiery aspect, kind of surround them a bit as they're being imbued by magic. I put my hands out to feel the warmth. And which it is apparent that he is indeed warmer. And as for you, Malsevier, as your uh, as you close your eyes and get your magic surge within you, you see a combination of a dark a you could assume like a dark blast heading towards the central point of a light source. Both becoming intertwined with one another. 
Oh, I see yin and yang. Hmm. So, with you, it seems you have the attribute of dark and light. Which is... unique. And as for your companion here, it's fairly apparent on what his is. Little fire, or man learns oh, yeah. fire. Fire, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Perhaps even a tint of earth, so you might get magma? I don't know. Magic is magic. Well, with your heavy attunement to fire, you could potentially access higher tiers of fire. Which I guess is quite. Which is actually not too unparalleled for Tiefling. Question, Magic Man. Yes. Do you sell blank books? Well, yes, as this is a place of learning. How much are blank books? I, I have Magic Floating Library. I would like to put some books in there. Uh, I, I show him my bookshelf of holding. That is indeed an interesting artifact you got there. I don't know where it came from. I woke up and had it. It floats around and follows me. I see. Books typically cost around 15 copper since the materials can be harder to come by now. Hendrik, do you have copper? I trade you with the silver I have on me for your copper. Uh, I can do that. Uh, I have 128 copper, so what would we be I, I give you one silver for 100 copper. Okay. <clears throat> I will give you the 100 copper then. So, fix that. Mm, yeah, there we go. I, I now hand him 100 copper. As many books as I can for 100 copper. Oh, and yes, I do. Hey, I'm doing this on purpose. I realized I could just give it a myself. Can you call me the loot goblin? I mean, you're 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 you're, you're, you're lightening my load because I just gave you a hundred coins off of my purse, and I'm I'm getting one back, and it's the same value. So you're you're just lightening my load. All right. Then with that, I can at least give you six books. So, in which she'll place down six books for you. I will put four books in my magic library, give one to Hendrix and one to Avar. Take notes for your classes. Oh, that's quite generous of you. Thank you. And so you don't have to carry them. When you're done taking notes, you can put them in magic library books. Oh, thanks. And con considering your interesting aptitudes, I'll even throw in a bit something special. So, with your matching aptitudes, do you wish to learn a, a beginner spell? Oh, please. Does this mean I know new spell other than Witch Bolt? Then yes. Yeah, I probably learn something other than just healing. Teeny tiny little heal I got. Uh. Now, what heal did you have again? I think it only heals like a point or two. Of healing the word. Okay, you had healing word. Uh, what would be a better thing to give you? Uh. I'll give the other two theirs first, since they're going to be a bit easier. So mm -hmm. with you, Hendrix, uh, you uh, you can learn uh, Firebolt if you wish. Yes. All right. Then on your sheet, go ahead and add in Firebolt, <clears throat> which costs five mana to use. Firebolt. Uh... Uh, 
have to find it. Uh, for you, Baja, uh, you, you get a bit more choices since you're, it's a bit interesting. So, you can either learn the spell of Light, Dancing Light, Eldritch Blast, or, uh, what else was it? I'll take Eldritch Blast, I don't care what the other one is. You gave me a zero mana cost spell, I'll take that. Yeah. Fear the Eldritch Blast. Best spell, nobody can change my mind. How do I spell Eldritch Blast? Summons the word in the turn. Uh, yeah. There you go. Alright, you can delete it. I'll copy it. Because yeah, the other one was going to be uh, more likely vampiric touch. Yeah, it's a good spell. I might try and learn that later, but... Uh, how much damage does this Ultra Blaster have? Like, 1d4? It's d4? What was it? Uh... Isn't it like 1d8? No. I think it is 1d8. Ultra Blast. Okay. <clears throat> I was confused, because... I was looking for Firebolt as a spell, but it was a cantrip. That's why I couldn't... 1d10. And yeah, it's, it's a cantrip, that's why it's... Yeah, it's, I, I was looking under spells, I was like, why can't I find it? I know it exists, and then I was like, it was under cantrip. Well, actually, it's a cantrip, so never mind, it, it doesn't cost mana. I'm, I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, it, it would just be, a, just be a free action for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a enough. fucking idiot. No, you're cool. Whoa, infinite no, uh, magic... Dude... Max level, I need to work towards max level Eldritch Blast. Fucking Eldritch oh, Artillery, God. let's go. Alright. As for, uh... Now as for you, Nam. Let's see. You can either go for either Earth Shift, uh... Uh, you can either Earth Shift, Wind walk, or let's. What else was it? Cure wounds. Cure wounds. All right. Now, I believe with cure wounds, it is definitely better, better healing. However, it does cost a bit more. Okay. So. Instead of what was it? Two. As far as like your wounds doesn't actually heal, it re removes status effects. What uh, removes status that, effects? That that's uh, lesser restoration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lesser restoration is the like the status removal. Yeah, with yeah. cure wounds, <clears throat> you have to come into contact with the one you're trying to heal, but it does yep. heal more. So what? yeah, I think it's like, what was it it said? Was it 1d8 plus your spell level? Yes. Because how much I don't play support in D&D, &D, doesn't it? What? I only know that because of Baldur's Gate 3 lately. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it's, a, it's 1d8 plus any spell modifier. And then the cost is that I can't... Uh... What was the cost again? Because I, because I know with uh, cure wounds. It's a verbal cost. For cost, it's mana, and they have to verbally in touch. Yeah, it's verbal. a verbal component. <clears throat> so it's just like speaking an enchantment, and like that's like casting it. Well, okay, I'm, so I'm trying, it's no, I'm, no specific amount of mana. Oh wait, no, because it's a cleric, right? Well, I You're just only allowed to do it a certain number of times per day. Well, no, I was going to say, cause, because of your attunement, as well as since oh, it's, it's a... 
Go ahead. Um, I'd probably go around what? Uh, total mana is what? 100, isn't it? Yeah. Total yeah, so I'd say about 15. 15? Hmm. Yeah. Then the at least the amount given will definitely be more increased. Then. So instead of a one d eight, I would probably we'll say we'll say like a d twenty plus five. That's buff. And I officially became somebody you want to have me in the have with you in it. Well, I hope the spells fit you well now. Most well, they will think. certainly help us. <clears throat> uh, Thank you, magic man. And I don't suppose the tin man here would want to learn magic. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, yeah, I think he even needs to be checked to see what his attunements are and everything. He was with us when we did that. He did it last time. Oh, uh, well, like his, uh... Zilla was actually with us in the... Or, I mean, his affinity, oh. like, what, uh, what type yeah, he is. Right. Yeah. That yeah, that's that's what I meant to say, sorry. But that's All why right. I just need to get checked. Close yeah. your eyes, and I'll pour my magic into you. Okay, here we go. Right, close my eyes. Roll a d20 with advantage. Uh, what's the advantage? Just two d20. Just two d20s. Two d20. Take the highest. And I. Hey, you got that twenty. <laughs> I guess 20. there we go. <laughs> so you close your eyes, as you see a smoldering, a smoldering fire, uh, rumble upwards, and as it rises higher and higher, you notice at the bottom of it starts to take a different form as the flames become darker. Almost more or less enveloping it. And which those on the outside can see a nice representation as a a dark line up kind of swirls around one of their hands and a a red start to well in the other. So, uh, dark fire type. <clears throat> a dark, dark attribute and a fire attribute. Not bad. Does that make me a hound? Make me a hound do? Well, it makes you a bit unique, as I haven't really seen many humans have a dark attribute. Maybe that represents the corruption in humanity? <laughs> that's I don't know. Yeah, are, are you saying that's what you represent? The the corruption of all humanity? Should we turn we... you into the authorities I... now or later? I don't mind many humans. I, I, I kind of enjoy your presence a bit more now. As a nice thing. Hooray! I didn't. I did a Canadian thing. At least he's useful for one thing. Besides, I'm taking what's... arrows. And what's that, good sir? Comedy relief. Now then, uh, what uh, what spells do you wish to learn then, if you wish to learn any? Uh, As... what? As you have the option of Firebolt, as your Tiefling friend had, or Eldritch Blast or Vampiric Touch. What does Vampiric Punch do? Vampiric Touch, come into contact with an enemy, and you siphon their life force to yours. And, uh, so Baja took Eldritch Blast, right? Yes. Let's fix it up. Very, Let's take them here. very good. Oh, I Let's take out your boss. For 500, Alex, please. You wish for Vampire Touch? Alright. Please. Well, it doesn't really cost anything. You do need to come into contact with your enemy, though. Can I use my 
my sword touches the enemies. Does that count? It has no, to be, your, has to be hand. your hand. I could just go around slapping everybody. <laughs> That's if you hit two. Hey, don't Shit. bother with me. I have heat resistance naturally. Not to mention Hellish huh? Rebuke. A slap is yeah, and I have Hellish Rebuke. <laughs> Touch me, and we'll see how acid-proof your armor is. If you ever want to be healed again, you will not touch me. Why is everyone fretting me all of a sudden? What did I do? I'm just speaking in matter of defense. You threatened me. You said you were going to touch somebody. I, you better not be me. I meant the enemy. See, you did it to clarify. You you I'm just said you touch everybody. That includes what? us. Oh, I would assume you would. I'm enjoying this one's presence a bit more now. Anywho, if you wish to learn anything more, then head to any one of the classes. Well, if you don't, well, thank you for the hospitality. But I, now I have a question, Magic Man. Yes. Is this all you're familiar? Uh, <laughs> he he kind of like comes up to you. We don't talk about the owl. But I want to touch the owl. It is better off you don't. Can I get a familiar of my own? Uh, if you learn the right spells. What do I learn? Put me in direction. Uh, that would probably be in the art of familiars and those of the different planes. Where do I go? Second floor, uh, first door on the right. Okay, I'm gonna take that class for an hour. You guys have fun! Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Boulevard. <clears throat> yes? Huh? Um... I was looking around, and I didn't happen to notice any bardic classes that you had in here. Do you not offer them? I mean, you'd probably want to head- you'd probably have a better chance at a pub than here. No, you do not, uh, teach any bardic spells? Not particularly. I see, that's- that's okay. The, the, closest, will... the closest thing would probably be the illusions and skills of deceit, if anything. Hmm. Since words can be a, a alternative way of deceit. Would also magical tools work? About these instruments to cause magic? It is fine. Yeah, that's actually a good I... point. I will spend a little time uh, honing my firecraft, and uh, I will seek out the uh, Bardic uh, Man later. But thank you for information, it's good to know. For the class of fire, all the way down the left, uh, all the way down to the left. Oh, yes, and yes, thank you. And the light classes? Light classes are top on second floor, uh, yeah. second door to the left. Awesome, thank you. I guess I shall I have check to look that out. <laughs> and you, uh, what was your name? Hack? Hack. Okay, Hack. Uh, did you want to go into classes? Dar the darkness classroom, please. The darkness ones. Uh, second door to the right, second floor. Thank you. Alright. Then, with each, with each hero going off to learn their respective attributes. Uh, back to school. Back to school. This this will be a book. I will give him a book fool. to take his notes. Thank you. Can I get everyone to roll a percentage? Uh, that's a D one hundred. Yes. Okie doke. <clears throat> Here I go! Fail me now, look! 60. <clears throat> Holy... <laughs> wow! <laughs> the, he's he's become What's master like? of darkness. <laughs> he has about to burst. I call hack. <laughs> and a D100 in a row. 
and then 26. <laughs> Is my luck just at 100 right now? I'm at least happy I'm in... The RNG hates me, man. The RNG hates me. <laughs> I think I just... I'm with him. Them. Like, that's what's actively hate me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright. With everyone's respective class, we'll go from in order of who rolled first. So, Malsevier. Oh, God. Uh, you go ahead and you're learning the magics of familiar summoning as well as those that are from a different plane which you have learned that a, the alternative plane that they speak of is called the Phalens. Typically that place is one that is usually filled with many magical creatures but also more or less a death trap for any mortal as there's many of trickeries there. What trickeries? Anyone that came back, never told. As for your familiar summoning, uh, it has become a bit troublesome, but you are able to get... You're, you're able to get a very good understanding of it, and you're able to at least summon one small creature. Whoa! So you can summon anything from a snail, snake, crab, a uh, bird, and snake, or a spider. I so nothing bigger than a small rat. Snick. Oh, and a rat. Can't you got rat. your bird. You got your bird. Yeah, I can summon a bird. A... You can't take it away from me now, DM. <laughs> yes, because it's not can... summon. And does he spend mana? Uh, it has an initial cost, but it Ooh. only disappears if it either re gets reduced to zero, or you cancel it, or you get silenced. And which the Wouldn't initial cost? I felt more dis. Send it back more than silencing, because I'm not saying anything to keep it here. Hmm? Wouldn't, you know, counterspell work more than silencing? Because I'm not speaking to keep it here? Well, no, because with, with you being able to summon a familiar, it's a more like a concentration. Well, I guess it's a passive concentration, since it is its own entity, but you are the contractor. So although it can stay freely, and it can more or less do what it wishes, since you are the contractor, they kind of go off of your magic. So I if that your magic would... gets cancelled out, then they would have to make a check to see if they stay within the plane or not. And the way I always thought of it is that um, it takes a certain amount of magical concentration from the part of the familiar, and that they're connected to you. So if you're silent, then the silence travels to them, and then they go poof back to where they were. Yeah, but in this case, that it's not a instant poo. They can make a they can make a constant uh, concentration check themselves to stay within the plane. Okay, okay. Oh, is your door having a stroke? No, I'm over and closing it. Why? Okay, I was about to say it. It was, it's like flashing in your nose. It's like, what's happening? I'm having a stroke. Hendrix, as we get to you, and you're learning yes. your magic, uh, you do start to realize that uh, although this is a basic to in intermediate study, you are definitely get getting the hang of how things are supposed to be done, as well as the basic premise of how fire can be summoned, which gives you a better time, and you can learn an additional skill that is up to the first or second level, if you wish. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> so, if you will, choose a fire, a fire spell, either from D&D or from any other source, that would be considered a first or second tier. Uh, well, let's see. <clears throat> I, well... Because this is homebrew, so... Yeah, it's... but I'm just... 
I'm just trying to think, like, there's not too many that I don't already have in between, because I have Firebolt already, and then... Um... Fairy Fire is not really... Like an actual fire spell, so I wouldn't really consider that. So I'd probably just take Heat Metal. I mean, that you're technically part of the Fae, in a sense. So it wouldn't be too far off from stuff you can learn. Yeah, but, um, like, if I'm... Because I actually want to kind of keep with that theme a little bit, so if I'm looking for fire spells in particular, um... What about, like, I'll... a cooking fire summon or something like that? I have Firebolt. I can just use that to create a fire. Yes, and Fireball. level the entire camp. Fireball. Well... Ask any wizard who finds out about how uh, fireball fun in the forest goes. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, we can give him first-hand experience. Mm. Oh. But that would be more of a can. I think that's actually that might be a cantrip as well, because I'm not seeing it under first or second level spells. So then, yeah, probably heat metal. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with heat metal. That seems like the best option. Heat metal? All right. Then you may go ahead and put that down. I will figure All out right. the cost of that later. Sounds good. Uh, next, Jack. As as you go ahead and, and learn the basics and intermediates of the arts of dark, you you are able to get a very well understanding of the concept of darkness as well as the components of it, being that it is a absolute, it is the opposite of light, where light where there is light there is always dark, and with your understanding, uh, you can choose between. Uh, any second uh, second tier um, dark uh, spell, or depending, you can learn a third tier. Ooh. Ooh. If you wish to I try and learn a third uh, third tier uh, spell, you will have to roll again for it. I want to try and learn some necromancy. That's doable. I'm, I I'm mean, some technically wrong <laughs> dark, but nothing too big. Just summon some skeletons. That, that's nothing too big. Well, again, that's that's the wrong dark, because there's a difference between oh. dark magic and then actual dark magic as it's the art of dark is more of like using like like i said without light there is no dark so it's more of like based on like shadows like instead of what would be the equivalent of a light bolt would be a dark bolt for example oh I'm gonna need some fucking help with this one then, cause as uh, stuff like necromancy is kind of a no-no for uh, most people, <laughs> especially since it's kind of frowned upon. What's wrong with the, what's just what's wrong with some summoning some spooky, scary skeletons? Because that usually needs the component of a dead being. Oh, this is why right. your dark affinity. At the Sith Lord. I'm a heretic. Oh, I fucking I don't know. Fuck. What do you recommend? Well, you have. Uh, with you being able to learn second level, you could learn the spell of darkness, which and which makes a a area effect that makes it harder for people to attack, but also harder for them to be seen. Uh, let's see. 
if you want to attempt getting a, uh, the tier 3, you can learn Dark Blade, which infuses mm. darkness into your sword. Ooh, ooh, that sounds like a good... That sounds... Mm. Mm. Uh, second tier, you could also learn Dark Blast, which is kind of like Firebolt, except darkness. Uh, so what I'm yeah. saying is, so what I'm saying is, darkness is a combination of, of other kinds of spells, but for edgier. It is, it is like an alternative of a specific element. So either... I can go with Dark Blast, push my luck with Dark Blade. Fuck it, let's push. Let's push my luck. Uh, I need to roll. Roll a d20. Guess 100 people on this board. Survey says... Oh, okay. Alright. Are you fucking kidding me? I guess congrats, you got Dark Blade. <laughs> you what stole the my fuck? luck! It's all your fault! Okay, it, it, it clearly has to die. I yeah, the RNG you. took all of my luck and gave it. And if sure, may you, may, can you show your screen so we know you're not using a hack client? I'll roll another d20, okay? I will roll another d20. No, he's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At least, at least with Dark Blade, I at least know the cost of it. As <laughs> it does cost 50 mana to use. Jesus Christ. It's not a fucking dual wield. <laughs> All right, where do I put these spells? Uh, in your sheet. Okay. So it, it is a high cost, but at least you can materialize a weapon out of the darkness. So I'll never really truly be disarmed. <laughs> well, yes, but again, it costs like half your mana. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's called a saving throw for a reason. Uh, just pray you don't get put in a silence barrier. All that right. ever gonna come up? <laughs> or, like, really just any kind of dispelling magic, like, that's gonna be a problem for you. Or counterspell. <laughs> and then 50 mana down the drain. I let my gamer score with Bejeweled. Alright. With everyone able to learn their spells, after, let's say, like, two, three hours of studying. Yeah, everybody else got to learn a spell. I right. got Jack and shit, and right. I'm the magic user. I, almost, I actually almost forgot. <laughs> I, got, I got too overwhelmed by fucking Jack's rolls. <laughs> Olivara, with, I... with... Oh, that's okay. As low as I rolled, I didn't get jack and shit. <laughs> no, you, you, you gotta learn something. Oh, no, you, 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 you do have the art of light, so if anything, although it was... Although it's a bit difficult for your for understanding currently, you can at least choose to have the cantrips of either light or dancing light, if you wish. Dancing I'll take... All right, you want light? There you go. What does dancing light do anyway? Uh, it's more or less light, but fancier. Light, but fancy. <laughs> you basically create three light orbs, and you can kind of decide where you want to put them and what you want them to do. You can even I thought make that's them what move. light did. Yeah, but dancing lights, you can make them move. Oh, okay, so then we'll go with the fancier one, because the fancy one could do the same thing as the plain one. Why would I want the plain one? So the ninjas become our, our flashlight? Yes. Like, I feel sorry for you. 
Yeah, that's okay. I'm a, I'm the healer too, so. You're a white mage. All right. And such, since everyone got their studies going, y'all meet up back in the central area. God, why? Y'all meet up in the central area. Give me a yes, Mr. Narrator, we're going. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fucking go, because apparently he doesn't know how to close the door. I'm trying not to. Right. Uh, he'll be over here going through his books. Did you all take notes? Yep. Yeah. I uh, learned yes. uh, quite a bit as well. I bring out my flaming magic box. Feel free to put your note journals in box. Okay, I put, put, my my box. My bo I put my book in. Yep, yeah, same thing. Put the book in. God damn, how do I have these fucking spells? It's literally just writing down in the Discord. I'm an idiot. Thank you. It was using the universe. I mean, I did it in, in here as well, just uh, so I have access to the spells. So. Well, yeah, at least at least with you using like Firebolt, for example, it's at least in the actual game. Yeah. Dark Blade is literally something that came out of my fucking ass. Uh, well, no, it's Shadow Blade. <clears throat> I that's what I use in the Transformers same, campaign. Same difference. It came out of my ass. I literally thought about it on the spot. Okay, but Shadow Blade is in 5e. Yeah, well, your butt. Will... Hang on, because because I literally I looked this up for my own character. Like I will send this to you. I, I already it's know it's a fucking second level spell. illusion. I just wanted to make it second... sound cool. I, I get you. It's a second level illusion. And Not to mention he's using actual darkness. Well, I know, but that's what I'm saying. This is the spell that you're talking about. I'm I'm giving you the card for it. There you go. Whoa, I cost Eldritch Blast. Whoa. Are you aiming anywhere in particular? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just costing it, just to put it there. You got a problem with that? I mean, are you are you casting it, or are you no. just, just are you just showing off? I'm just showing off. Look, okay. Just... All right. Hey, look. So I can just pop it in chat. So with all with all you being able to f now use some new magics. Magic Mesa. You're at least you're at least a bit more better equipped magic wise, as well as a bit more experienced with combat and some stuff that might have might have to happen. Well, I when I pull back on. Oh, fuck! That hurt my arm. All right. Yeah, they don't. They don't fucking go anywhere. I know. I'm, I'm lazy. Anyhow, so with y'all, with y'all being able to now cast new magics, be it cost... this goes somewhere. Where's the guy? Uh, does it go somewhere? Let's go here. Go somewhere. Uh, it used to go somewhere, but now it doesn't. Mimic. Because I, I repurposed this room entirely. What was, <coughs> what was originally this room? Uh, it's a tutorial room. <laughs> I... Oh, okay. I literally just completely repurposed it. And it worked. I <gasps> found a hidden door! No, no you didn't. It's hidden for a reason. <laughs> Secret tunnel. <laughs> it's hidden for a reason. Secret tunnel. <laughs> I found a hidden door. It just leads yeah, to I the want... main room. 
I said it for a reason. So how the fuck do I add spells <laughs> in this game? It's a hidden door. You don't know it. Because it's so under your character sheet, there should just be a tab for spells, and then <clears throat> there's a little uh, plus sign on the right-hand side for known spells. So you just click the plus sign. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And yeah. then you click the tag to show all spells. Yeah, there's a tab above everything, and you just click on show all spells, and it'll give you access to everything. Okay, thank you. So yep. Plus, and then show all spells. God, did it just crash my game? Oh, I'm gonna fucking laugh it did. Do oh, I start laughing now, or...? or... Um, uh, Shadow Blade might not actually be in here because it's under uh the source book Xanathar's Guide. Yeah, it's, so it, it it's only, multiverse yeah. only really has like the very basic stuff. So yeah, only I think that's I'm actually looking for it too, and I don't see it. If it's if it's so. in the player's handbook, then it would be there. But if it's not, then it's not going to show because yeah, they only have that content. content so. right, no, I got it. I got it working. So that be all right. Yeah, so he'll have to add that in like some other way. I mean, he doesn't have to add it in to multiverse itself since if he just had like types it in Discord, then that's still good. Okay, so there, there's only this thing called Vampiric Touch. It's the only thing for Vampiric Punch. Or maybe it's... Vampiric Touch was exactly what you grabbed. Yeah, it's a level three spell, but okay. And then... Yeah, well, fuck you. It's it's a can it's I wouldn't say it's a cantrip, but it's basically no, it, it's level three necromancy. Woo! There's flame blade and blade barrier. Just a barrier made of sorts. Eh. But in any case, y'all have learned magic. Y'all have gotten a bit more experience in the forms of combat. Is there anything that anything else you wish to go ahead and get beforehand? Before I'd like to earn a million game. platinum. Uh, you're you're crushed by a million platinum. You're dead. Whoa! Hey, everybody, take the million platinum, girl. There's a way to suck I'm just grabbing a handful and I'm walking out the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any, anywho. I'll... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so me personally, since it's probably like getting more towards night, I'd actually like to go to a tavern and uh, see if you can go find. I'm going to go find some music. music. I'm gonna go find the weapon store. He's gonna get lost again. <sighs> Don't I always? I just the mage go wandering this. She's gonna get lost too. <sighs> <laughs> well, Weird I don't know where a tavern of... is, so yeah, this is gonna be an adventure for me looking around. I mean, the tavern is the inn. That's. Yeah, the inn is the tavern. Oh. Nobody. I'm just gonna wander around, get to know the city, because I'm sure we're gonna be back. Just walk out the flame. The city's on fire. I didn't. What did you say? Something. <laughs> I'm not fire, dude. You are. Invisible. I'm going down the darkness route. Wait, no, that makes it worse. Shit. Keep in mind, I'm yeah, going off of your picture. Yeah. Actually, now that I realize the picture I have, that kind of makes more sense now that I realize it. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Alright. Uh, so there's four people here. I'm just gonna roll a d4 to see who goes up first. I'm fine with going last. Uh, alright. As, uh, 
first in line. Uh, da da. Zilla. Are you lost? <laughs> I know. I, I'm just in the town center because they. <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> do you need me? Yes. Do you need me to hold your hand? Sure. All right. Whoosh! There. The, the, you're at the mag You're at the weapon store. <laughs> Their stock hasn't changed yet, as, as it's only been twelve hours. They, well, actually, this is the this is the smith thing you haven't gone into yet. That that was in exactly. the other town. I just had to say it. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, they have, they they put all their tools away. There's nothing available for the night. I saw. <laughs> As you walk in. There is a plethora of weapons ranging from staffs to machetes, shields to great swords, pikes, and that's sometimes the occasional farm tool because some people have to make a living. Yes. Weapons and John Deere. I've heard of them. At the front of it all, you see a towering man just staring you down. Oh, today, good sir. What do you want? I, I, we are, me and my party are new to the. Okay, honestly, we're adventurers. We're new to the town. I'm just here to see what kind of weapons you are before we head out. And you seem like a very nice gentleman. Take a look. Thank you. Let's have a look around. You start to feel more nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I pick up the hatchet. I'll get a few swings of it. Uh, you pick up the the hand axe and you start to realize as you're swinging it around, it actually has a pretty good weight uh, to it. The uh, the material itself isn't too outstanding as it seems to be just of iron, but the weight and the handling of it is definitely good. Better than normal. I wonder if I can dual wield these. It's a hand axe. I mean, like, wheel two. It's a hand axe. You have two hands, and it's called a hand axe. Called a hatchet. Fine. I'll take one. Alright, so you're taking one hatchet. I'll, I'll actually take two, just in case. Okay, you're taking two. I'll go to the front store. How much, good sir? Seventy, seventy copper for one. Okay, she, uh... The music does not help. <laughs> one silver, forty copper. For, for two or just the one? For both. Uh, you know what? The 
that seems like a fair deal. I am the one silver and the copper. Actually, no, 50. I give him two silver and 50 copper. She seems puzzled by your purchase. I figured I'd try a new style. He, he still seems very puzzled, but it's your purchase. I bid him a good day. Actually, so before I leave, I ask him, do you deal with any magical weapons? The only weapons in here are the ones that me and my men smith. You'd probably have a better time in the, in the actual merchant's shop than anything. Or even outside. Well, I thank you for your patience, and I hope you have a lovely night. You too. Bye. Strange man. All right. With that interaction out of the way, we'll go to Alavara. As you're you're enjoying the afternoons, you're having an afternoon stroll, exploring the town for what it is. It's it's a bit more bustling than it was before. But that's probably just because people are enjoying the afternoon lights. Oh, that's good. Nice, pleasant afternoon. Yes. Which? Let me quickly. Uh, can I get a perception? Ah, uh, that I'm. Is it plus two? Okay. I can't win today. I can't win today. I don't see shit apparently. Oh, look at this pretty pink rock. The pink rock has appeared again. Uh, you, uh, you're well. While you while you're swimming around town, uh, you do, uh. You don't notice. You don't really see anything bad in a way, but you you are definitely seeing some nice lights that are being uh, thrown into the sky. Head towards the lights. Do they look like fireworks or just magic lights? Uh, a mix of magic and it seems like lanterns. Okay, well, I'm gonna head there. Which, uh, it leads you towards the fountain. Fountain? Uh, top right. So just head to the right and you'll see it. Oh, head to the right. That's left. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I keep getting lost. Uh... Okay, okay, we got the fountain. Oh, it's gonna be in the. As as you make it to the fountain, you see a group of people, uh, more or less surrounding a, a magician, as he is throwing around lights of either, just normal lights and, and with your magic aptitude, you can also tell that he's casting some thaumaturgy, causing more. Uh, more pretty lights to appear than than just dancing lights. Oh, cool! So he's mixing the cantrip with something else. Yeah, he's he's more or less uh, double casting to make a more grand, uh, more grand effect. Nice. I mean, it's nice. at least it's at least working since it's making the people happy. In which, while you're uh, looking at the lights, you actually do notice my band uh, 
next to you, also enjoying lines. My van? Oh. The merchant guy that you <laughs> bought out. <laughs> oh, the merchant guy that we bought out? Oh, oh, the guy that used to be, um... A wandering trader. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, my van. How you doing? Oh, Miss Alavara. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. This guy's good. Yes, I assume the lights also got to your attention? Oh, yeah. It is definitely a nice... a nice tone better than what you would see outside. Oh, yeah. He's he's melded it beautifully. Uh, um, I... Out of character, is there like a hat nearby? Because I'm assuming since it's a street magi magician. Uh, he He's actually a bit more... Uh, not... More he's creative. He's, he's more creative. He's okay. He he has a um a mage uh, magic hand going around with a pouch. Oh, that's cool. I'll throw in. I'll throw in like a. I'll throw in like three copper for him. That should be enough to at least get him a drink, right? Uh, more or less. So I'm sorry. What were you saying, my bad? I. It def I was going to say, uh, how goes your endeavors in getting used to the town? Um, well, we seem to be getting used to it for the most part. Spent the most of the day training, actually. Well, then I hope you learned something new that can help you in earning more money. Um, in a roundabout sort of way. I'm not really the attacker in the group. Everyone has their worth, one way or another. Picked up a new healing spell, so yes, actually. Uh, I, I actually had made some recent purchases that I feel like that would might that might help you. Oh. Uh, give me a sec. As he goes ahead and rummages through his. Uh, backpack. Uh, I feel like they would more ha more be good for you, since you seem to be the only one using a bow. As he gives you three uh three arrows of fire. Ooh. As well as one roaring arrow. Oh wow. Oh nice. Not Where did you come across these? I have my ways. As now, out of character, I can't remember what the deal is. Is that he purchases stuff for us, and then we purchase it from him, or uh, you guys more or less bought him out? So he's more he's more there to use your funds efficiently, as well uh, as okay. as well as buying stuff that he feels like will be helpful for you. Oh, these are nice. The flame arrows, although. They should be useful for most situations. Forced areas, probably not the best. Obviously not. Uh, the Roaring Arrow, uh, although I haven't heard much of it, it does have a good boom, apparently. Very, very good. Fine. Thank you. If you know where to look, you can typically find gold. Is that not the same? You, you are a master craftsman. <laughs> I wasn't the merchant for nothing. You were under you you you, you. perfect. You were an awesome merchant, obviously. Oh, uh, because I'm still new to trying to figure out what you need. Is there anything that you want to request that I could try and find? As well as if you think any of the others need anything. Um, well, I know Jack is trying to, like, refine his armor. Or, you know, improve his armor. You've seen the armor that he's got right now. 
Uh, I don't see no material helping. You would more likely need a smith. Right. Um, but, like, materials to bring to the smith, maybe? Might help cut down the price for the smith? Possibly, but Um, I would um, need to figure out what material it is. Yeah, you'll probably need to talk to Chad. I think Malsevere is just trying to find just about anything that can get us. Um... Uh, Hendrix, I I think Hendrix and I are both always looking for a magic book. Hmm. Um, so the magic forms that we know that we're uh, we seem to be affinity to is light, dark, fire, earth, and hmm. I think that's it so far. Light, dark, fire, and earth. Um, All right. I'll try to find any books I come across that are those uh, attributes. But let's no no promise that they're going to be outstanding, but I'll definitely try to find some. Oh, obviously we're just starting. Dude, I can't do those lights as well as this guy does. Well, as this guy does, so uh, a little practice will do no harm. Well, mine are still super basic. Even the most but, basic hey, can be powerful. Gotta start somewhere. As I'll do. Yep. Um. Obviously, we're always looking out for better weaponry. These Everybody's smith- always looking out for better weaponry if you're an adventurer. Well, the smith is always a good start. Uh, other wandering tradesmen typically have interesting finds. Yeah. Yep, they do. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm wandering around. I know Hendrix went wandering off towards the smithy. Oh, you mean uh, you mean the metal one? I saw him go towards the smithy. Yeah, the tiefling. Yes. <laughs> the tiefling wears armor now? Tiefling, what? The tiefling wears heavy armor now? No, I He's think referring he just to Jack went... now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're referring to Jack. Oh, Jack. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Hendrix didn't go to the Jack smithy. Jack went to the armory. <laughs> Hendrix went to the... Um... Went to the weapon room. Sorry. Got confused for a minute there. <laughs> oh! Everybody's scattered. <laughs> We're just taking a bit of a break for right now. But seriously, anything that you can think of, hey, every little bit helps, and you never know. Uh, You're doing a beautiful job just coming up with arrows. These are gorgeous. Well, I was only able to find so many, so try to use them a bit wisely. Oh, yeah. As with the fire arrows, they are more or less a one-time use. Same goes with the roaring arrow. Oh, yeah. Magic arrows of this type are always a consumable life. And once it's fine as this, you want to dip certain to be an emergency situation. Still lovely, nice to have in the quiver for justing. But considering the night the night nears, I'll, ca- I'll mo- try to catch up with, with your group in the morning, see what they wish for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, enjoy your evening. I'll try, as I typically always try to find something new. As he will go ahead and head on off. Nice seeing you. Let me go ahead and remove control. I have. Damn. Alright, as uh, Master, you said you were fine going last, yeah? Yeah. Alright, then uh, let's see. Hendrix, where did you go? I went to the tavern. <clears throat> yeah, the tavern. Because I'm looking for someone musically inclined. You 
physically inclined. Let's see. <laughs> I saw this. I'm trying to be a laze man, huh? I just naturally assumed she was the one more musically inclined. <laughs> they're, they're just gossipers. Well, the guy in the back left there is clearly not a musician. He's more obsessed with his dolls. Uh, oh, the mean, bottom guy there... Uh, you mean William? Yeah. He, he's just crazy, you know. So. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, the guy closest to the door there I don't think is a bard. Because... Goggles. Oh, yeah, that's, and, that's more likely because I haven't spawned in there. Yeah... <laughs> So, uh, who would look like a good bard? Hello? Uh... Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay, right. considering I can't find a bard currently right now, uh, I'll just go ahead and say that, because this isn't always the tavern that's gonna look the same, because I don't have a, an actual, uh, another tavern for the one in the city. So, we'll go ahead and say that when, uh, as you enter the tavern, uh, you you do uh, see a couple patrons uh, eyeing up a uh, what you could assume is either a elf or p possibly half elf with a liar uh, telling tales of heroics as well as other sultry uh, songs. So I'll just kind of sit back and listen to the performance for a little bit, and then once he's taking a break, I'll I'll try and see if I can speak with him. Yes, in which after ten or so minutes, he seems to be all all done as he gives his bow, and you see and you hear the patrons all in uproar. Which he he prepares to pack up his stuff for the night. Hey, bravo, my friend. Good show, good show. Uh, might I pick your brain for a few minutes? Not at all. As one such talent to another. Oh, you, uh... You think I am talented? Anyone is uh, talented with the, with the right kinks to it. it just matters well, on what your strings are pulled. Well, to be honest, um... I'm not exactly sure. I've... I've kind of had a busy day today and... just been kind of thinking about it and... I don't know, there's just something... more... drawing in, I guess. For lack of a better term. Hmm. I just wish to learn. The way of the voice? Always a good start for any newcomer, or anyone that just simply wishes to learn as a hobby. Well, and he's kind of looking at the instrument. <clears throat> Maybe not specifically your instrument per se, but... I don't know. I just... There's something about it that I'm it just piquing my interest. Hmm music in general so then you wish to so you wish to find your right tune then uh, may I and he gestures to the liar not at all as a matter of fact as you see him pull out a small looking bag do you want to see a real magic trick by all means Go on. As you see him turn the small bag upside down and slowly 
uh, slowly pulls out different types of instrumental, uh, uh, different instrumentals, from a flute to a, to a pan to a, another lyre, as well as any other any other instrumental. Then, by all means, good sir, find your tune. He he just looks generally surprised. Just, oh, sir, you are you are way too kind. It is more or less a trial run, you could say. And besides, to someone that also wishes to learn the way of the voice, what there is no harm to it. Uh, so like the, all the stringed instruments, like I'm, I'm kind of vague on what's all in Five E. Uh, that I also need to look into myself since I don't remember a lot of them off the top of my head. Cause I'll, I'll just kind of tell you, like he's gonna focus a little more on string instruments, like something like a violin or like, like a lyre, or like a or like a little bit of a guitar. Sort of. Let's see. Uh, for things with with strings, there is the harp, a lute, a lyre, a mandolin, the cittern, the viol, uh, and the fiddle. No, that's. It doesn't matter, but that's a... Okay, yeah, that is a string of okay. So when... Is viol just a violin, or is it something else? I'm not... A viol is a violin, yes. Okay. Uh, he would actually gravitate more towards that, initially. Like, he's kind of, like, hovering his hand kind of, like, over the instruments a little bit, just kind of, like... A viola is basically like a violin, except it's kind of like... Have you ever heard of a piccolo? Yeah. Okay, it's like uh, it's like the violin equivalent of a piccolo to a flute. Okay. Yeah, that, it's that's... Higher that's gonna pitched, be smaller. Yeah. So yeah, like, he's kind of like hovering his hand over the instruments a little bit, just kind of... He's actually kind of like feeling it within himself, just like, what... What is it that he's wanting to try? And he reaches for the viola slowly, and he'll, he'll just kind of like pick it up. So you chose your tune. By all means. He'll kind of rest it in, in position, trying to get a feel for where to, to place his fingers. And then he'll he'll attempt to play. <clears throat> and just what would you like me to roll for it? With your with your seemingly familiarity with it, roll a d20 with advantage. Okie dokie. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. With the roll that you needed to beat, that is good. As as you go ahead and place your hands onto the vial. You seem to struggle on trying to figure out where you're supposed to be placing your hands. But as soon as you have it rested, it almost feels as if as if it is on auto on where everything should be. And if and as you play, it doesn't even feel like that you're playing it yourself. It seems like you're all doing it as your body intends. As a warm and calming tune plays through it. And as you play for a solid two or three minutes, you stop, and you actually start to notice that a lot of the patrons actually turn their attention towards you. I... Uh, thank you. Um, 
You actually He's... you actually see one of the patrons kind of get up from their seat and head towards you. He he stares at you for a bit, and then plops down a drink in front of you. Thank you for the turn. As you go back to his seat. He, he kind of nods with a smile on his face and just... Thank you. He's a little perplexed. He's conflicted because... While this may be his first time picking up this instrument, it's entirely familiar to him. Like, it's bring back some some memories that maybe he had lost. It, it's a sense of familiarity that he hasn't felt since he's woken up. In which, as you, as you turn your attention back to the half-elf, it seems that you have definitely found your right tune then. Well, then I'd say my work yeah, here is done. Same. As he begins to pack up the rest of his uh, instruments. Sir, what is your name? Oh. I'm just I'm just a watering bard. I just do this for fun. I should still owe you the courtesy of at least knowing your name. You have given me a great gift this day. Hmm. Simply call me Lightfoot. Oh, thank you, Lightfoot. You have done me well today. From one bar to another, I bid you adieu. Oh, and you can keep the vial. Thank you. He <clears throat> just kind of looks down at it and kind of rests it in his lap a bit as he sits down, just kind of staring at it. And with, with a new joy found, we now head over to, to Mousevian. Dar. Too bad. As you re-enter the military act, uh, military arena, good to see you. Good to see you're back. Glad to be back, Sir Louis. Now then, you wish to increase your strength. Then let's begin with a simple task for your with your stature. As he'll go ahead and hop on down again. So, you see this? You see this boulder? Yes. Pick it up. I will attempt to pick it up. Alright, go ahead and roll. As you go ahead and grab tightly onto the boulder, uh, you should be able to. There you go. As you grab firmly into the boulder, yes. you, with all your might, lift it up right above your head. With a with a seemingly easy feat done. All right, good. Hold it above your head now. It above my head. Keep that for ten minutes. Okay. And which I need you to roll an endurance now. Because we are going to pump well, you up. Go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yes! There we go! <laughs> We're gonna turn these mush into muscles! As you go ahead and... Because you're feeling quite confident with your strength, 
you decide to go ahead and try to do a squat, and that immediately backfires as you plant onto your ass. Oh, my back. <laughs> and uh, I need you to roll another strength. As you are able to stop the boulder from smushing your head. Feeling it by now, let's go! I guess that works better. And which you'll you'll go ahead and hold that position for at least five minutes before. Well, I understand I'm doing what a squatting stance holding this thing. Uh, you're not you're no longer doing a squat, as you're more just pu like doing like push-ups, or you're more. So I'm pressing this rock He's, he's yes. gorilla pressing you're, this you're thing. You're currently he's bench gonna... pressing because you tried to do a squat, which failed. So now you're bench press. You're now bench pressing the, the the rock. Which you're able to do it for a, a good f solid five minutes before your arms start to feel tingly. Is he ever gonna suplex the rock? Now, man, I, I want to <laughs> roll endurance to keep going. Go ahead, roll endurance. As although your arms are feeling tingly, your your will does not want you to stop. As you as you begin to continue bench pressing the boulder, and as as you're Begin to that full strength, and as you're bench pressing the boulder, you actually start to notice that you're getting you're getting kind of you're getting eyes directed towards you, <laughs> kind of not out of like jealousy, but out of the but out of. Uh, What's it called? Respect? Yes. Out of respect of your strength. And which, by the time you barely notice, ten, min ten minutes have passed. I put the rope down. Alright. So, how was that? Like a good workout. As it should. Now that alone probably won't really buff up anything, but it's always a good start. Is there anything that you, anything else you want to potentially try or retry? As he points towards the boulder again. I would like any training you'd be willing to give me. Any training is better than no training. Hmm. Then how about a resistance then? I am willing to give it a go. Alright. Then stay right there. And uh... Clench your teeth. I will take off my uh, armor and cloak, get in a stand to clinch my fucking teeth. Let's go. As. Okay. As the first punch that goes towards you doesn't feel all that bad. You, you can definitely notice it as you're not exactly wearing your armor now. But it doesn't hurt as bad as you would think. I'm still not gonna drop my guard. Good. Still gonna stand there ready. Good, good. So, at least we're able to pass the first punch. As next, he he brings back. As the first hand he punched you with was his right was his right arm, which doesn't seem all that bad. And then he decides, and then he swaps to his left. So, Sir Louis left-handed. Let's do this. As as he goes ahead and punches you, can I get a strength? 
Whoa, I failed. As as you take the blow, not only not only do you you definitely feel the punch in your gut, you also get uh, punched away. Hey Mercer, are we doing anything else? Uh, plot my sight? Uh, probably not. Okay. Cause... If, if anything, I'll, that's probably gonna be a cliffhanger. <laughs> okay, you know what? If there's nothing else, I'm gonna take off, okay? Alright. Also, uh, t uh, former big Baha, you've been bugging Tara about tomorrow. If he misses it, he misses it. It's not my fault. <laughs> I will keep bugging him to go! What So, uh, as you take- as you take that punch and get sent flying a bit, you- you definitely feel like you're- you're about to hurl. I- uh, can I roll to withstand that? Uh, Constitution. Have a good night. You hold your lunch. Catch ya. Alright. Good thing you were able to hold. Seemed like you were able to hold off that punch. Now, the question is are you gonna be able to handle more? I simply beat my test chest twice and get back into position. That's the spirit. And which, uh, to somewhat speed this up, as this is going to be a lot of punches, we're all doing 100. 48. Okay, not bad. So you're, you were able to take up a roughly... 20, 20 punches, five from his, five from his uh, right hook, fifteen from his left. You feel tingly all over, more more rattly than anything. But uh, you're at least still standing, but you're not sure you can take more. And look. Much as I'd like to continue, Sir Louis, I don't think I'd be able to take much more. Well, you I believe that is my limit. Definitely took more than any of, any of my under, not underlings, any of my students would be able to handle. So, if anything, that is a good end point for that. So, hopefully, you'll be able to. Withstand a, a few more punches than normal, then. I appreciate your time, buddy. I should probably head back to the tavern and rest for the night. You do that. Ugh, I'll need to be closing up soon as well, then. Have a good night. To you, too. As I will assume everyone is heading out to the inn. Uh, I'm yeah. getting there. Where's the inn? Uh, top. Uh, very top. Yes, babe. Cat aggro, sorry. Good evening, Hendrix. Uh, good evening. Very nice piano you have there. Uh, it was in the room, but uh, I don't know. Just felt a little inclined to give it a try. As much as I'd like to listen, I probably shouldn't get to sleep. I just took a beating from Sir Louis. Uh, we've we've all had a pretty productive day. I think it's probably time we all rest. 
Yeah. All right. Alvara, I might ha require aid with uh, bruises in the morning. Okay. I'll take care of them now. You can if you wish. I I need to lay down. I'm gonna cast a cure light. Cure. Cure what? Yeah, why not? I mean, might as well since you're about to end the day. Exactly. I'm about to go into a long rest. I might as well heal him fully now. Eight. Well, it's an eight plus five, so. But you're more I just. Mean, that, but you're more just. Dutch. You're more just healing him from his bruises. Now, which you, you at least feel less burdened. It's, the, the he should no longer be bruised. The phantom sense is still there, though. My dragonic ancestors would be proud of me today. And which... and without taking off his armor, he's just going to pass the fuck out. Yeah. As the night closes... Let's see if anything special happens tonight. Hendrix is touched by his ancestors. Oh. That, we're, we're not going to 18 plus here. <laughs> <laughs> As a peaceful night falls over, which the day rises once more. Nothing happens nothing happens at the night as it was just a peaceful sleep. In which since all of you were able to get a good amount of training yesterday, you all probably uh, would you all want to go to the adventuring guild? Uh, can we call air? I'm getting ADHD pretty hard at the moment. Okay, then I then the cliffhanger will not happen. Then we will leave it here. We'll open with the new adventure in the next time. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, sorry, I, I've just started fiddling with everything on my desk. <laughs> oh, good. Well, then this is the end of today's session. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. To anyone that is listening or watching, hope you enjoyed as well. Uh, I will, however, say that considering the uh, creative block is real in trying to set up these stuff, I'm not sure I'm going to be trying to do this every every two weeks now. Because it is definitely hard to come up with stuff, especially material-wise. So if it doesn't come too often, at least you'll know why. Uh, but that being said, I hope, I hope my players had a good time, even though it wasn't too much action. There was at least still a few fun things to happen. It was productive day. Banana bus. <coughs> so with that being said, I'm Frosted Merc. These are my lovely, lovely players. Any sign Nothing off? Nothing lovely here? about us. Do any wish to sign off the listeners? Potato. Potato, everyone. Potato is potato. Well, I've been Frost and Merc. May the calming cold guide you. Have a good night, everybody. Night.